Hello people, welcome to this channel and welcome to another video of Android application development. And today we are in with a very exciting topic and that is MLKit. From Google I.O. 18, Google has publicly released the MLKit in Firebase for Android and iOS developers. In this tutorial, we are going to implement MLKit in the form of text recognition in our Android application. Without any further delay, let's start. I've already created my project here. Now, first I need to integrate Firebase in my project. So for that, I'm going to open the Firebase console that is console.firebase.google.com and then add a project here. So I can name my project that is MLKit tutorial. So the name can be anything. Just change the region or just leave it. That doesn't matter. So wait until your project creates. After your project creates it, you can continue. We are going to start for Android application. Just integrate our package name that we can get from our application. This is my package name. I can insert my package name and then just go ahead and register application. After that, I'll have to download a file called Google Services.json. I can open this file, copy it, and then paste it in our application inside project, the main folder, and inside this app folder. So the name, as I said, has to be Google Services.json. So that is done. Again, another step. We can go ahead and press and continue. So we'll have to add this class path in our project level build.gradle. So for that, we'll go back to Android again. And we need to add a class path here. Again, our next step is to add a Firebase core dependency. So we can do that too in our build.gradle module application. So for that, go ahead and add Firebase code dependency. Again, one last statement remains. So that is apply plugin. So you can add that in app level build.gradle at the very last statement and you can synchronize your project. So the related libraries will be downloaded. And while we are going through this, we can click ahead and click finish and we can see our MLKit here. So there are a lot of options in MLKit. So we are actually going to use MLKit for our text recognition here. So for that, again, we need to add one more dependency statement. So. We're going to start from Android. So we will have to implement this one more dependency in our project. And then press sync now. Okay, this says me that all Firebase, the libraries must be either above or below 14. So I guess it's safe to say that uh, the Firebase version here for core is the minimum is 15.0.1 so 15.0.2 so I can change that and again so half of our work is almost done here I should say half because integrating Firebase can be can be confusing if you are a new user to Firebase but if you are familiar with it it can feel quite easy so I'm going to change my layout here. I'm going to change this to linear layout. Yes, I feel easy coding in linear layout. So I'm just going to keep an image view here. So wrap content and wrap content. I'm going to give it an ID. IMV. Now I'm going 
put a text view here again not content again an id so this is going to be my i'll give my text and then two buttons this is going to be snap and the last button is i'm going to be our tick button so text is going to be detect so if we can see the preview here okay i'm not organized my orientation for linear layout here so let me put it vertical okay yeah that's in to be it now let's go to our main activity let's define our components here we can define our components so we have an image view image view we also have a text view here so that is going to be tv we have two buttons btn1 and btn2 let's also declare a constant here private static final integer score and we can give a value here close to one so let's go ahead and define our components likewise so btn1 is going to be my snap button btn2 is going to be my detect button so finally we can press click on this two buttons okay so in case of snap we are going to open our camera and then take a picture and and after that picture is open we are going to detect whatever the text it contains and then show it in our company tv so we need one more variable here that is private bitmap let me name it bmp and import this bitmap plus now we need to create an intent to our camera post a new intent media store dot action underscore image underscore capture so start activity for result i comma we need a request code which we have already defined up here so it became a request code but that's okay now this intent is going to open our camera we are going to click a picture and then after that picture is clicked we are going to get back on this method so on activity result here we are going to compare our request code if our request code is equals to our given request code and result code equals to result okay then we can extract our data here bundle bundle equals to data dot get extras so we already have a bitmap bitmap so we can extract that sorry we can extract that in our bmp so bundle dot get this to bitmap too okay now our image is opened from our camera so we are going to set this opened image in our imb component that is our image view component so imb dot set image bitmap 
2.2 BMP. So now, after you open your camera, click it and bring it back, our image will be shown in our image view component. Now, the hard part remains that is detecting text from that image. So, for that, inside this, we're going to call a function because I don't want to get everything jumbled inside that same on click method. So in this method, we are going to first introduce Firebase Vision class. That is Firebase Vision image. Let me name it image equals to Firebase Vision image dot and our image will be received from our bitmap that is BMB. After that. We're going to introduce Firebase Vision Text Detector class. And we're going to name it Detector, and we're going to initialize this Firebase Vision dot get instance dot get Vision Text Detector. So after this, Detector dot detect image detect in image sorry and we're going to use this image object and there will be two parameters I don't success this now and then add on failure listener okay so this is going to detect our text if it finds any text so uh, it will be called in on success method and then from there we can process our text here so let me call another function here process text and then pass in the firebase vision text object from here and then create create a method for that Okay, inside this method, I'm going to create a list with an object of Firebase Vision Text dot block. Let me input this list, and then I'm going to name it block equal to Firebase Vision Text dot get blocks. Now if Block that size equals to zero. That is, if there is no text detected in our image, we're going to insert a post here. So no image detected. Else, if there are some text. We're going to declare a string txt equals to let me put a blank string here and then have a for loop that is firebase vision text block let me introduce a new object let me give it new block column firebase vision text dot blocks so inside this i'm going to concatenate whatever i receive from that image in my txt so this is going to be txt plus new block dot get text and then I'm going to insert a line break here. Okay. After the for loop, I'm going to show everything in my TV. So TV dot set text. This is going to be txt. And we need to add one more semicolon here. Hmm. So yeah, this is it. So what we have done here is we have inserted an image view where we would see our snap image and a component where we would see our text. And we have two buttons here. So that is for snap and then process text. 
the request code will be used to open camera intent and then after that we are going to get our image and then change into something like Firebase, Firebase vision image and then detect, it, detect our text from that image so yeah you can go ahead and run this uh, when the application runs just snap your, your image with some text in it and then press on detect again this is a very primitive version um, of processing text so everything might not be detected as planned but yeah this is something to begin with so you can run your application and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching if you like this please do please do like it and then subscribe it for upcoming videos thank you